we will be installing a CAN bus brake modulator on a BMW 2014 GS Adventure. And there is the wiring. I have switched power here, negative here. This is the brake light right there. That's gray with a black stripe and a yellow dot. So that wire must be separated. Got some additional wiring here. Then this wire goes to some extra lighting that we purchased here from Skeen Design. This switch wire can be obtained from several different sources. I have a PDM60. Uh, many of you might have some type of a power distribution module like this that you can get switch power from. If not, there's a plug right here and you can get switch power from the red cable with the brown stripe on it, which is right there, right on my fingernail. And that's the fused side of the only switched power lead that I'm aware of on this bike. Okay, so we're going to be installing this module from Custom LED in just a few moments and I'll follow up with the next video. Okay, we're done installing the brake leg modulator. We have no CAN bus error. I'm going to start it in just a second. The ignition's already on, so the PDM's on. And this is the wiring. So you put the yellow wire on the incoming, and then you stick the white wire on the side that goes out to the LED light for the brake. And of course I've got my switch power and my ground. And then we have these extra wires tapping onto the output coming from the skin lighting in the back. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like right there. And if we hit the brake, sort of tough to see in the video, but they all flash exactly at the same time. It's really nice. There's no CAN bus errors at all. So I'm going to go ahead and start the bike now, just so you can see that there's no CAN bus errors, even when it's running. Okay, I'm going to go through the different flash modes. Now, one of the reasons that this whole thing really even came about is because I wanted to add some extra lights to complement the already existing tail light here, uh, but unfortunately, it wouldn't work. So, after talking with John at Custom LED, he was able to, you know, create one of these modules that would actually work with this BMW uh, single wire system which is just fabulous. So thanks John and everybody at Custom LED and everybody at Custom Dynamics. Here's the pattern for uh, flash number zero. So that's pretty standard. Okay, I can release the brake and on this one I can actually change the pattern just by turning the knob. So now we're on pattern number one. It looks like that just repeats pattern zero. Uh, it just keeps repeating it over and over and over. Okay, nice. Now here we go to pattern two. And then that stays on steady. And pattern three is probably gonna be just like pattern two, but just continues to flash 
over and over and over and over like that. Okay, very nice. Now we're on to pattern number four. There we go. I like that. That just stays on steady. And pattern five, I think, will be the same, but it just continues. Perfect. Pattern six. Now we're getting into the uh, high flash rate that really works well with the LEDs. And on pattern six, we get a steady brake light after that blaster X pattern. Pattern number seven, I think it's just going to be the blaster X and uh, it just continues for as long as you hold the brake light. Pattern eight. Okay, that's just a uh, high frequency flash rate followed by steady. And then of course pattern nine is just going to be the high frequency flash rate as long as you hold the brake lever. I recommend this for anybody who has this BMW motorcycle and wants to add some additional lighting to it. Yeah, that looks really nice. That's not how it looks on the video. I'm just looking at my phone. This is uh, just a standard, uh, standard run light, but the LEDs, I guess, they just appear on the camera like they're flashing. They're really not. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.